If you're on the hunt for one of the fastest portable SSD enclosures out there right now, then take a look over in OWC's corner and you'll find this, the impressive looking OWC Express 1M2. Designed for media professionals who need the fastest possible speeds, the OWC Thunderblade V4 is a solid option thanks to its four internal NVMe SSDs working in RAID to bring ultra-fast speeds, although that naturally comes at a cost. If you're after something that's not as extreme and a little more portable, yet still want those high speeds, then this could be ideal. With a similar look and feel to the Thunderblade series, and available in capacities ranging from 1TB up to 8TB, the Express 1M2 is also available as an empty enclosure for those who wish to use their own NVMe SSD. Either way, OWC states that this is the fastest single-blade NVMe enclosure that they have ever offered. It's not all about performance though. After all, NVMe SSDs run hot, so what good is performance if you can't maintain it? And that's where the design comes into play, one that has been proven with the 4-drive Thunderblade in fact. The silvery frame is crafted of aircraft-grade aluminum and is covered with 20 vertical fins. This makes it resemble a large heatsink of the sort you might find cooling components inside a desktop PC, and in fact the fin design does serve to maximise the dissipation of heat from the SSD within, keeping it running as cool as possible and reducing the chances of thermal throttling. Saying that, the 1M2 is rather large compared with most of today's external SSDs, measuring 0.9 high, 2.8 wide and 5.2 inches deep. I guess it can still fit into a pants or coat pocket if you really wanted, but belongs more in a carry bag or on a desk. Otherwise the front end incorporates a status light bar, as well as some branding, while on the rear end of the drive is a standard USB-C port that supports USB 4 at 40 gigabits per second, and is labelled as such. That makes the drive compatible with not only USB 4 though, but also Thunderbolt 3 and 4, USB 3.2, even USB 2 and everything in between. There's no pass through port, so no daisy chaining here, although there's no external power input either, meaning the host device will supply all the power the drive needs, making it a true portable unit. Although the 1M2 is available pre-populated in capacities ranging from 1 through to 8 terabytes, you can thankfully buy the enclosure by itself and add your own SSD. In fact, it should work even with larger M2 SSDs as they become available, so there's no actual size limit. Nevertheless, you do get a tiny screwdriver with which to open the unit. And with both screws beneath the unit removed, a little slide and the two plates come apart where we can now really appreciate the oversized metal heatsink design encapsulating the relatively compact board inside. The most important part of the board is the chipset though, an ASM2464PD chipset to be precise, which is a new generation of USB 4 or Thunderbolt 2 PCIe NVMe accessory controller built by AS Media. It's this controller that unlocks the full 40 gigabits per second speeds. Nevertheless, installing the M2 NVMe SSD from here is relatively easy and it involves removing the single locking screw from the board, revealing a standoff nut just beneath. By default, the unit is ready for a 2280 sized M2 NVMe SSD, although the standoff can be removed and reinstalled into one of three positions, catering for 2242 or 2230 drive sizes. Once in place, lock into position by reinstalling the retaining screw. The top half of the enclosure comes pre-installed with thermal pads, so the two halves can be placed together, remembering to slide slightly so they lock into each other, and secure using the two existing screws which will seal the two halves, while that thermal pad makes tight contact between the drive and the metal enclosure. A final adhesive rubber pad can then be used to cover the screw heads, after which installation is complete. From here the drive is compatible with pretty much any USB or Thunderbolt port. Of course you'll want to connect to a computer running a USB 4 or Thunderbolt port to unlock the fastest speeds. I'm using an M1 Max MacBook in this example, where we begin by reformatting the drive into our chosen format. I'll be using the drive with the Mac only, so APFS will do nicely here. Anyhow, when it comes to performance, using the standard Blackmagic Disk Speedtest software, 
we see seriously impressive speeds, allowing the drive to ace Blackmagic's Will It Work rating system that determines whether a driver is fast enough to handle video in various combinations of formats, resolutions and frame rates. Honestly, when it comes to single drive enclosures, this is certainly up there among the highest performers, easily the fastest single drive enclosure I've tested to date. Anyway, with a couple of file and folder transfers back and forward to the device, I was pretty much blown away at the speed. For day-to-day -day general usage, it's just like working with your internal SSD, and thanks to that oversized heatsink design, the drive continues to run pretty cool too, meaning no thermal throttling, and hence no drive slowdowns after prolonged use. In summary then, you do pay a premium for the OWC Express 1M2, but if you're looking for speedy transfers of large files, it may fit the bill if you have the right hardware. Available in capacities up to 8TB or as an empty enclosure, OWC says reliability in safeguarding critical user data is part of their brand recognition, and the Express 1M2 upholds that. It is a solid aluminum heatsink to ensure maximum performance over even prolonged usage sessions. So, for professional users who need long-term reliability as well as high performance, the Express 1M2 is a solid option that takes maximum advantage of the bandwidth offered by USB 4 and Thunderbolt. Throughout testing, it continued to outperform, making it a drive I can highly recommend.